Hey, this is the Nary, and I am here for, in a way, it's kind of a full collection uh, flip through because uh, I made some drastic changes to my collection at the end of last year. I didn't do any videos about it as I figured in the end. What I'm actually going to do is that I'm going to basically um, restore <laughs> all my photo cards and do like a flip through ish thing that way. Um, it's going to be a series of videos as yes, <laughs> all of this is twice. Um, so that's going to be the majority. Uh, I do have 2 p.m. as well because we'll go through my usual, uh, my usual order. Yes, that's the word I'm looking for. So what this technically is, is still my miscellaneous JYP binder. Um, the right now, all it has are these Wonder Girls postcards, which I'm never getting rid of. <laughs> I, I really wish Wonder Girls had like a photo set. I would love to have at least one photo set for them, but it just didn't happen. <laughs> it wasn't a thing during their time. And then we have my 2 p.m. collection. Uh, and of course these are these Japanese tickets slash photo cards. I have these in order. All right, should be this one. I don't think it matters for these. But yeah, basically uh, a lot of it is just, I wanna cut back <laughs> a bit with what I'm collecting. Um, just because it's starting to feel a little bit over overwhelming for me. And I, I'm also like someone who likes collecting, you know, lots of things, <laughs> not just photo cards. So, you know, I wanna be able to continue doing that. Okay. So, yay. This is the first um, photo cards for 2 p.m. for one of their releases for this gentleman's game, right? Yeah, gentleman's game. Um, and I do have the OT6 set for the regular edition. There's also a limited edition that I'm not, I got like a Jun case and that's probably where I'm gonna end it. <laughs> um, just because it gets a bit too pricey. I mean, I am still kind of amazed that I was able to get Jun Ho and have an actual OT6 collection. Um, but yes, 2 p.m., one of the early groups that I just really loved. So, so they don't have much in the way of photo cards. Okay, and this is from Must, which is what they released when, after all of them finished their military service. And I'm definitely going to be working on this in the upcoming year. Maybe with any luck I can finish it. <laughs> but yes, I am collecting Junke, or Junke, uh, Nikun, and Wu Yang. Definitely need to catch up on. Oh, that's right. I actually have one full line at least for them done. <laughs> and then there's these unit cards, which I'm kind of using to fill up there. And I would like to fill up this whole page if I can. Because I. 
say there was like 15 or something. I don't know. There was a ridiculous amount of unit cards. So I should be able, it shouldn't be too hard to get like 12 of them. And these are other inclusions. These are stickers that came with uh, one of their releases. I do need to get the other three. And that's like another thing is like, I wanna, wanna go back and do these kind of little collections too. And I feel like I need to, I need to free some money up. And one of the easiest ways to do that is just to kinda not collect so much. Okay, and then I have a Junke page. Most of it comes from his release of 20 minutes way back when. He really has not released anything in like forever. Um, yeah, so this is the limited edition for Gentleman's Game. And I believe this is like a Japanese tour trading card. And then there were some larger inclusions. And okay, I do have this set up because uh, next G, the uh, JYP's uh, Japanese boy group that will be debuting later this year. I'm definitely going to collect. I have it set up for seven members because what I want to do is get at least for their debut um, usually JYP for their groups they release special uh, photo card sets I have them for Niji U have some for them uh, pretty much with our every release they'll release a special set and I want to get one for uh, next G and I do plan on collecting Elise uh, Seda, because he's my favorite. <laughs> um, and while I do have a second favorite with Yuhi, I don't really have a third favorite. It keeps on changing. <laughs> so for right now, I'm just committing to at least one OT7 set and collecting for Seda when they start releasing their music. So that's what that is in preparation for. Um, now, as I may have noticed, I used to have Itzy in here and I have decided to drop that collection completely. Um, I still like Itzy, it's just, when it comes to collections, I want groups that I'm like, really excited for you know <laughs> like super excited um that i'm gonna take the time to like watch their videos get them know them more and really kind of get into the other media other than just their music um and for itsy i am just you know kind of enjoying their music and that's about it so that is why i decided to let them go um like i said i still like the group um I enjoy their releases uh, for the most part. It's just, I need to have that little extra. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm putting out there for groups that I'm actually going to collect for. Um, I think that that will help. in like keeping my collections into, you know, a more manageable level. Ah. <sighs> Eventually I'll have enough added to this. It'll stay in place better. <laughs> okay. So I have decided to kind of step back and not collect complete OT9 for twice. Um, for their newer eras, from basically from Formula of Love and on, it is all going to be OT9. For these earlier eras, um, it'll be my top three with some OT9 collections thrown in. Um, so let me get started by putting these in. And of course, top 
3, Jihyo, Mina, and Chewie. So for this first release, or they dare debut release, I am just collecting the cards for these three. And it is the same for, is it chapter two or page two? Just these three. And basically it just, I like twice and I enjoy collecting them, but they're not, they're not what I would consider like one of my top groups, even though I do like them a lot. Um, and they just have so, so many cards to collect. Um, so I figure, like I said, it's going to be full collection for these three and then it's more mm, I guess restrained for the rest but I'll when I get to like the later releases ah I can show what I have planned because it's not going to be like the usual where a lot of people, they'll collect one or they'll collect three members and then um, they'll have, or they'll collect them and it'll be like everything that fits, <laughs> all the collections that fit in a proper nine pocket page to fill the page. And then, you know, some sets, like if they have five photo card sets. Well, then they'll just do OT9 for two of those. Um, I'm kind of doing that, except I'm being a little bit more generous with the OT9 sets. Which you shall see as I go through. Um, but yes, I am in that way completely caught up here with... Nina. So I have nothing missing for her. It's just Jiho and Chewy out of my top three that I need to work on, but I'm very close to finishing up for Chewy. Okay, for like Twice to Coaster Lane, the Pink Pop Backs, these are the ones that I'm going to do an OT9 set for. So yeah, that is what I have so far. And then we move on to Signal. All right. I'm so excited I finally purchased something that has this card for Chewy because that is her last signal card that I want. So yeah, so for this, those fill out a page. And then these hollow cards, they're gonna be an OT9 set. But as well as the pops. For signal, there are two OT9 sets. Yay! Then twice to gram. I think it's just the pops that'll be the OT9 set. going in. But 
but yeah, I think it's basically just Signal and Twice Coaster Lane that I'm missing. Cards for for the early release. Because I know I have a full OT9 collection here for the Twice to Get twice to gram <laughs> pops. Man, this middle pocket. <laughs> okay. So there we go. OT9 said there. And then let's see. Yeah, that works. Merry and happy. Yeah. So the top three page. And of course for this, the pops, I will go for an OT9 set. Ah. Thankfully, I have most of them. But I think for now, I'm really going to mostly focus on finishing Chewy and Jihyo. And then I'll go and start working on the OT9 sets. Okay, what is love? Because that's when... All of a sudden, we're getting tons of cards <laughs> for each release. So, this is going to be a top three page. Come on. Maybe at some point I will rearrange things, but for now. Okay, yes, there are going to be two top three pages. Then everything else is going to be an OT9 collection. So these, I don't know what you would call them, like food cards maybe? Because that's what they have on their borders. Oh. So that is going to be one OT9 set. Then we're doing the ever popular <laughs> pajama set. Um, that's another OT9. Uh, let's see. And then I wanted All right, this is going to like shift a bit, but I for the letter cards, I'm pretty sure uh, it spells out what is love, so I'm gonna spell it out, and that'll be another uh, OT9 set. But as I get the cards, I'll shuffle them. <laughs> um, and then one of my original OT9 sets. Which is why this is almost complete. <laughs> ah. 
All right, and those are the OT9 sets as this final page is another top three, which has the message card or the scratch off card, I guess, and the pops. So yeah, usually for what is love, uh, like I was mentioning, most people, uh, they'll have like three pages of their top three, and then they'll do one OT9 set. I just decided I'll do four instead, because I do like twice a lot, and I love collecting their cards. Um, but I figured that way, it, it's a nice step back. Um, because again, it's still a ton of cards, no matter which way you look at it. Um, so, not getting them all. Definitely a plus there. In in the future, if I ever <laughs> ever decide to change my mind and go, you know what, I'll do OT full OT nine again. At least. I'll be much further along, but I don't think so. I, I think I'm very happy with what I planned right now. Um, let's see. Is all summer nights? It is. Again, it's just because they've been around for so long and they have so many. Where did all that hair come from? I don't even have hair that short. There. But yeah, since toys have been around for as long as they have, and they have these older releases that had so many like photo cards I mean even their newer releases have a, pretty much a ton um, it just kind of felt like it made sense to step back just a little bit oh my gosh where did all this hair come from or is it just coming back okay But they also kind of fall in the place where I just really like, um, really like the group. I don't see myself being able to like drop their collection at all. Okay, so yeah, these pages have what will be my top three. This is the first OT a nine collection. I just like these little border ones, so. And it also helps that I already had some cards of other members. Um, part of it is the reasons I chose them. It's either I already have uh, non-top three cards um, of a set, or just I really like the set. Uh, I actually kind of really like this one too. I think it makes sense to have that one on its own. And then we have the glittery sand border. That will be another OT9. And then we have the normal sand border. Where <laughs> The only one I'm missing is Chewy, <laughs> but I did pick her up, so I will, this will be a complete OT9 set when my next deal kill uh, haul comes in. Ah, oh, that's really satisfying, being that close, and knowing that soon, that will also be complete. And I 
to have a complete OT9 as well here for Summer Nights. And that's these message cards. Since I already completed the OT9 set, now it made sense <laughs> to just keep it OT9. Plus, I kind of like having these uh, special borders be their own OT9 set. All right, and then we're on to Pops, which goes back to top three. Say, I love this Mina. This one's gonna bother me too much. There we go. <laughs> All right. And this stack should be what's less left in this binder, which is yes or yes and year of yes. one of the collections that I I need to definitely be working on more. I say that as I have a full top three page here. <laughs> not like to go into that bottom middle. There we go. All right. And now we start the OT9 sets. First one is going to be this red border, which is mainly because <laughs> I happen to have non top three cards for it so that just makes it a little easier and i just really like this set so that's the other ot9 then we're doing this okay sign set. And then I had already decided this was going to be an OT9 set, but I just have not done much work. Um, this is also one of these sets where everything is going to look really messed up because I am spelling out the three yeses that all nine cards will make. So <laughs> I have two Ys and two Es. Um, I should be getting some more, at least one of the yeses <laughs> um, soon. So hey. Looking forward to growing this, but yeah, yes or yes, I just haven't done too much with in comparison to some of uh, my other collections. And then we're moving on to Pops. So, top three once more.
There we go. I mentioned the last collection that is going to be in here is going to be the year of yes. Um, and I have basically finished Mina and Chewy. I need to start working on Jigo. And I am going to have an OT9 collection, even though these don't technically have sets and everything. Um, and because of that, what I'm going to do is any I'm randomly just gonna start collecting like at least one year of yes card for each member and they're all just gonna go on this page so I think these were the ones I decided for that because for the pop page that's where I'm gonna put the remaining year of yes cards I figured kind of like these distant shots. Oh, I messed up. Fancy you also fits in here. So it does not end up with your yes. But yes. Um, so one of the more kind of Jihyo in the distance that will go on this page. And we'll, we'll find a way to make it all work. At least this way, since I know with Jihyo, she does not have a very cohesive set, unlike Chewie and Mina. So this might help me out figure figuring that out. Because I do have this one that I can just dump whatever I want in on. So I just need, well, I guess Chewie, she also kind of breaks down a little bit. and isn't as cohesive as like the Mina. But at least you can tell that she has the red shirt in all of these, even though one of them is like an outdoor shot. Um, so yeah, we'll see how we get that to work. All right, so fancy you, I guess forgot because, you know, since I have been able to downsize, I don't need as many binders. Um, though I'm pretty sure <laughs> eventually I will need like nine binders. But that gives me more time to be able to find the sizes and the colors that I want. Especially since like this mint green is so hard to find in like a two inch binder, especially if I want like this kind of clasp. Okay. So again, we're doing two pages of top three. Yeah, and definitely need to work on the Jihyo for Fancy You. Because I think I have all of Chewy's now. We'll find out. Okay, and now we're doing OT9 sets. And of course, doing the Fancy You. But at least now, I'm pretty sure for this set, it is in this order. Um, so I don't have to shuffle anyone around to spell it out. And then the flower card. I decided that's going to be one of my OT9 sets. And yes, I decided to go ahead and do the ring pop as an OT9. But part of that is because I have like some of the cards already you know i have the nyon i have the sauna jiho mina and chewy um yeah so 
since I already have like half <laughs> of the set, I figured it was safe enough to go ahead and try to get the rest of it because I know these cards are like super popular, but I've already made a good stent into that. Um, speaking of which, this was the original OT9 set that I wanted, so for Fancy You, and I am almost done with it because of that. So yeah, just need two more and that will be done. And then we have Pop Page, which again, top three. In fact, I think gonna be top three for pops until formula of love and that's again where I'm starting OT9 from because I feel that's like the release I really started collecting deciding to collect for twice so that's where that begins so let's do a flip through of everything. So yeah, it, it feels nice like that I have so much of this done now uh, since downsizing. Especially with these early collections. Because honestly, some of these cards for other members, they're just, they're not easy to get. Um, especially for the earlier releases. Oh, I'm so excited. I am almost done with What's Love. Um, I know I have a couple more cards coming in, or at least for my top three. I'm not really counting <laughs> the OT9 sets, but yes, that is the big thing for me this year is finishing my top three collections. And being caught up with those, I am again so so close for Chewy. It's what these two summer nights. I have two. What is love? Um, okay, so I have three, but like I said, I have that one coming. And then I think I have a couple of the yes or yes that I need from her on the way too. Because I believe with Fancy You on, or I guess Year of Yes on, I have everything for her. So it's just like, yes or yes. Yeah, between what is love, or no, no, signal. Yeah, signal to yes or yes that I'm missing some cards for her. Well, gee, yo, I have like spots more or less all over the place. But I do have some of her cards because uh, Yokyo, they did a sale, or not a sale, but a promotion for uh, Saru Sarukia, I believe that's the name of the online shop. But they sell um, collectibles. For photo cards, they sell them like they don't, you're not gonna find um, sets of them. They're all kind of individual, but their prices can be a lot cheaper than what you'll find on like Makari or Rakuma because they can go under 300 yen. Um, so with the promotion, it waived the fee, which is like 250 yen and I definitely made use of that to catch up a bit with twice. Um, also, got a little bit of Need You and Stray Kids in that too. But yeah, a good portion of that definitely went to helping me out here with twice. Um, so, that will help out, especially since, of course, we have a new release on the way which I'm super excited for. And again, like I said, 
all the newer stuff, it's full OT9 for me. <laughs> um, so I'm very excited. Of course, I need to start working on trying to save up for that while also working on and mix and their latest release. So yes. All right. So again, top three, they get two pages. Yeah, I think this is where you can, like I said, from now on, I'm done with like Mina and Chewy, so it's just Jihyo. It's gonna be the one I'm missing if I'm missing anyone. Um, it says I had pretty good luck with getting these kind of gold borders. They are one of my OT9 collections. And I went ahead and decided the white border I will also make an OT9 collection just because I like that one as well as black border oh my gosh but I think for this one it just helped that I had the die on already all right and and I have a complete OT9 collection. In fact, I have two of them for Feel Special. I do have these borders all done. Again, these, this was one of my collections that, or one of the sets that I decided I wanted OT9 very early on. Um, before I even thought about even trying for OT9 in a much larger scale. Uh, same with these ones. And it just helps that these are just easy cards to come by and find. So able to finish this up real quick. There we go. Got two OT9 collections there. And then Pobs. And I think with more and more, that is where I have GHO completes. Because I was starting from the latest release and going back for the most part. And technically I'm on. Feel special still for Jihyo. So this is where we're going to get more complete pages. Because again, I have all of the top three that I need. And I love these sets really. I love outdoors. <laughs> the outdoor shoots. Which is like one of the reasons I'm looking forward to their upcoming release. It looks like it's from what we've seen already for promotions. It looks like we're going to be getting more outdoor stuff. So very much looking forward to that. Signature cards. And this set was definitely because I already happened to have some non top three members. So 
was like, might as well just complete the set then. And honestly, I, I love how soft everyone looks in this one. <laughs> Cannot wait to have more. Um, I think this one was more because uh, I couldn't, like my top three sets, I just couldn't find a way to really fit those in. So it's like, okay, they're just gonna be OT9. <laughs> I think that's what the black border and these gold border, gold border ones ended up being. <laughs> Why they made the OT9. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, then we're on to pubs. another one that's trying to escape. I'm still looking for like a decent sleeve for these because they don't quite fit the Japanese size dragon shields. Um, regular size dragon shields for the clear are like near impossible to find um unless you want a matte back and i do not want the matte back so still searching for something that you know it's big enough where it'll cover the bottom of these um but maybe not as wide so still kind of searching for the perfect sleeve for those. All right, and then we move on to Eyes Wide Open. only they had her in front of the flower background, this would look so cohesive. <laughs> uh, oh well. What is a large photo set without somebody wrecking it all for <laughs> the look of the entire page? This is the final top three only page. Forgive me, I've got to, got to move my legs before they, they fall asleep on me, basically. All right. So, OT9, I'm going with this set because I already collected OT9 for uh, the matching one. So it just kind of makes sense to, you know, collect OT9 for both. Yeah. So since I have OT9 for this, it just made sense that that one should also be OT9. Ah. Okay, this is not a good position to store photo cards in. For this page, I will be sh shifting again. <laughs> but at least you have a nice little OT9 set to be looking at. <laughs> okay. 
and then I just really like this set and it also helps that I do have you know some non top three for it as well but it's just pretty uh, there we go same with this one like with the denim I just liked it <laughs> And it didn't really fit like I think out of like the denim and the red background this was really the yellow dress was the one that fit the best with those cards so it just worked at least for me I can't believe I'm only like halfway through <laughs> what I have. But yeah, twice is, if you collect, anyone who collects twice comes very obviously aware very quickly how massive this collection is. Even if you're just collecting for like one member. Okay, now Taste of Love, which is the last one that is not a complete OT9. Who knows, maybe one day I'll change that, but for now, that is what I have decided for it. Yes, I'm still, oh no, no. Yeah. I know she has the drink in there, <laughs> but I'm still insisting on keeping it. Well, no, no, I think it, that is how it's supposed to go. Yeah, because these are the indoor ones. Right. These are the outdoor ones, and that's where the one where Jihyo has the flower instead, and it just looks weird because it's like, why give her a flower for this? And not something else because they have flowers in the other sets. But on the other hand, Sana doesn't technically have a drink. She has a skewer of cherries, tomatoes, something. <laughs> but yeah. Next to Sana, she doesn't stand out ah, as much. And what was I thinking there? But yes, this is going to be an OT9 set. Um, let's see. And then we're doing this as an OT9 set. Since it doesn't really match with anything else. And I already have a couple of non- top three cards so I also love how this these sets are like haunted <laughs> by the shadow of the, the cell phone <laughs> okay and then for the lenticulars I decided that will also be an OT9 because I figured they'll be easy enough to collect and I already had quite a few of them so OT9 they shall be. And last page for top three only. Ah, I'll fix these later. Am I kidding? I'm fixing this now. It will bother me too much. Oh, 
Oh, come on. Please. There we go. All right. And now, now we're starting with all the OT9. So give me a moment <laughs> as I collect them all. Because there is a lot of cards now. I'm not even completely done with Formula of Love. I'm still missing a few, but <laughs> this is the stack. This is the stack. Oof. All right, so for the most part, I'm just missing Nyon and uh, Cheon cards. I think I might be missing something for Jonghyun. Or, or maybe I was, but I've already picked, got what I didn't get. Because I'm thinking back. Because I got most of hers in like a full set. Except I think I was missing a couple cards that I had to pick up. I'm just trying to remember if I actually did. But in any case. Uh, keep moving on. But yes, if you've been following me for a long time, you know that uh, the progression was, it was first Mina only, then I decided to do top three with a couple of OT9. Then I decided what I'd do is top three and then my next favorite three members. And then once I collected that, I would progress to the final three, um, yeah, but that didn't happen while I was collecting, um, starting on collecting the next three after my top three. It just kind of, I think I just kind of gave up. It's like, you know what? I might as well just get all of them. Um, which is why Nyon and Jaehyung, they were gonna be part of the final three. So that was, is why they're the ones that are mostly missing from Formula of Love because that was what I was working on for the most part and focusing on. Um, Which of course means they're the ones that are left for me to get cards for and that will be one of my goals is to finish up formula of love this year so to get the rest of the nyan and the chaeyoung and i i'm very confident <laughs> that i should be able to do that because i have at least all the pops all the pops i have OT9 for, for Form of Love. It's just the album cards that I'm working on. And it really should not be that hard. Alright. Yeah. Right. Message cards. If you hear anything in the distance, that's people dealing with all the snow and ice, mostly ice because it has been more or less melting for the past couple of days. But then yesterday we got some frigid, frigid weather. So it's all kind of 
uh, frozen again. <laughs> in fact, I am refusing to leave the house today uh, because I don't want to go out in that because I know everything that was kind of slushy um, and melting yesterday is now ice. So I will try tomorrow to figure out how the roads are. And thankfully Monday it starts heating up. So we'll go back to things being somewhat drivable. And then of course for the rest of the week it continues to heat up and we should get most of our snow and ice melted. But yes, I have been listening to people trying to get their cars out um, or trying to remove the ice from their cars and squealy tires of people trying to make it up the various hills and just not making it far. Hmm. Where's the rest of these? Yeah. I... Uh... <laughs> Where are the other three of this set? Did they somehow get shuffled somewhere? Oh, I see where they are. This was the start of a new line. Okay, so yeah, Jonghyun is actually done done for Formula of Love. Yay! It's just Nyon and Jaeyoung that I have to work on. And now we start doing just nothing but OT9. Yay. But yeah, one of my goals for last year was to at least do OT9 for the Formula of Love Pobs. So I'm very happy I met that goal. And now it's just finishing off the rest of Formula of Love. And I just feel so more, much more positive about my Twice collection now that it's not a full OT9. Because it feels a little bit more doable. Um, And it's very easy to like stay caught up OT9 for their new releases. So again, I may change, but if I do, it's going to be very, very slowly. I think I just bit off a little bit more than I could chew. Um, and yeah, since if anything, if I do expand it, it'll be just to expand it to like Taste of Love. <laughs> um, that's the furthest back I can see myself going right now. And instead, just kind of focus on, you know, doing, doing the OT9 sets that I already have decided on. I mean, if I finish those, then Maybe doing full OT9 becomes more doable in the long run. So, flip through.
But yeah, it's nice being able to go through these and see a lot more completed pages than before. wait until I can start finishing these pages. Okay. So that is another one done. Okay. <laughs> Took a quick break um, before doing this finishing run. It looks weird that this is all empty, but that's because these are all going to be full by the end of it because I am all cut up. From between one and two on, which actually isn't that much, <laughs> but it is a lot of photo cards. Oh, I forgot to bring over more pages. Because I know for just the regular al albums alone for their upcoming, I'm going to need eight since there's five photo card sets. And then, of course, three versions, which means three palm sets. Um, they just announced a digipack, which will definitely have one, so that would be nine. But they mentioned there's like a bonus photo card that's in the pre-order only version and mm, I'm not sure about that. How exclusive that will be because if it's not then yeah and then I'll need like 10. And then of course there's like the special other items of the album versions. I'm not sure if they're actually photo card sized. Um, so if anything, I know for a fact I'm gonna need nine more pages in here. Um, possibly more. I have a feeling it'll probably end up at least being ten. But we shall see. I'll definitely have to check for anyone doing like a setup video as they will probably know. <laughs> uh, but thankfully they're still doing like five cards for each, each album. So if I get nine, that's enough cards. Um, but then of course you have the digi packs. <laughs> At least with twice, it's pretty easy to find their previous release still in stores here. Oh, that's right. There's going to be Target, but I don't do OT9 Target cards. So I think I'll keep that and just do top three for Target cards. So I don't have to worry about that at least. But yes, comes out at the end of February here in the U.S. So that's that is what I'll be collecting. I 
I mean, I'm assuming we're also going to get the Digipack. There hasn't been a listing, I don't think, yet that's popped up for that one. we go all right at least there's only like three versions and they're not doing four versions like formula of love and uh and between one and two three is so much more manageable I'm so glad that for one of the pop sets we got them like with well, I don't want to say animals since Melo got a peach and for some reason Dion got chocolate and even then Dion has nothing in the set <laughs> it's like yeah we, we don't know what to do with you <laughs> just sad but still, overall, like the set. <laughs> Again, with twice, I think it's <laughs> it's hard for them to have a full set of nine without somebody kind of breaking and doing something a bit different that ruins the whole theme of it. <laughs> I mean, even this one, like, most of it is phone. You know, you could, Yo probably gets away with the camera, but then you have Jonghyun, Momo, and Chewie just kind of laying back. <laughs> no prop. Even with this one, Jihyo, she doesn't have like all of the clear things around her. <laughs> I think it's more of a miracle that we get a set that actually has some line of full cohesion. <laughs> yeah, everyone else has the little <sighs> the clear things except for Jihyo. And this one is definitely whatever <laughs> from the start. Because <laughs> almost everyone has a clock except for Nihon. <laughs> it's like, nope, I got the bunny. Bunny stays with me. And I am strong like bunny. But then of course you got Gio again. <laughs> Just doing something completely different. And Chewy, same way. No clocks of any kind. <laughs> okay. Final handful that is ready to be. <laughs> so many and of course this is where they start with the digipack versions ah. I 
this night on. I see you sneaking there. I really wish we got like another set of them in these outfits. I feel like overall the colors are so muted in these photo cards and it's like I want I want more of the color back which is like one of the reasons why I'm so so excited for their new release because it looks like it's nice and bright and colorful and I need that. <laughs> I mean there's nothing wrong with them like doing the more I guess mature slash sophisticated looks here but they could mix it up. I mean, they did that with more or less between one and two. Ah. that's on the back. Yeah. Okay, now we go to the message card. Digipack, and then it's the pops, and then I'll be done with this. <laughs> I mean, at least even though we're getting a ton of photo cards from Twice, they always make it easy to collect, so I can't feel like stressed out about it. <laughs> Because if they ever change that, then I'm going to start stressing and then maybe not have as much fun with collecting twice. Come on. Whatever you are, get out. Out. I guess we did get another photo set of them in this for the pops. Seriously, Pico and Diane are so cute with the little hearts. What I would give for that to be actually a photo set. Like one doing little hand hearts. That would be so cute.
final pop set. And then we get to the other cards for twice. Because <laughs> we're definitely not done. Oh no. Not even remotely close. Well, no, we are kind of close. Kinda. Alright, quick flip through. really love this set. It's so pretty. Okay. And again, need to add pad pages to the end of this for the upcoming release. Okay. And I think the final one is just flipping through larger inclusions. I'm not putting in larger inclusions. Okay, yes, definitely. So this is my Mina only section. Let me get my Mina cards. Okay. Definitely need to get more random <laughs> Mina cards to add to the collection. Let's see. Hey. Doesn't really matter too much. Let's see. Yeah. These actually kind of go together. That clear card will go down there. And that's what I have for Mina. Yes, I think I need to grab the rest. And this is the final, final stack. And we get to start off with the monograph cards. I still can't believe I was able to find twice monographs just randomly in like a secondhand media store and they were like dirt cheap and they were still sealed. So yeah, yeah this was like the kind of find that I, I'm still not over it. <laughs> I still can't believe I have monographs, twice monographs. Ooh. But yes, this is from What is Love? That was the first one and I found the second one which is Fancy You, which is what this set is. I really didn't think I'd ever have any of their monographs because they, they are not cheap. New, they aren't cheap. And these older sets, oof, you usually find them for like a hundred or so. Um, and to find them still sealed, wow. I love these. I love these so much. Yeah, you have to, I am never letting go of those. <laughs> okay, and then we have my top three. 
Target card. Or no, not this one. This is the file version of Formula of Love. I picked one up and I got Chewy, so it's like, uh, <laughs> since it's one of my top three, I might as well get the other two. So I did. The next two lines, though, these are Target cards for top three. So that finishes up a page. I'm pretty sure this page I've already put in to start the next. Um, so we're gonna leave that one blank and if I'm wrong then we'll just move the page. Then I have random group cards from pop sets. Doo -doo. bothers me so much that the, this group card from Formula of Love goes a completely different way than like the rest. But if I flip it around, then this is upside down. So it's just going to stay there and bother me. I should probably should eventually like move these two somewhere else because they're not actually palms. Ah, okay. And these are going down here because they are Japanese cards. And now we have the unit page. And I have all three for Story Begins. I have two of the page two. Um, oh yeah, I was just putting Misumo here. I need to get more of their cards so they can have a proper page. Um, and then we got all the unit cards from the digi pack are ready to be. All right, and then we have random solo collections. And that's what I have for Nyon. And then Jihyo. So far I'm keeping their larger inclusions with them, but I may change that. I've not decided yet. All right. So that's all the photo cards in my Mina <laughs> section, which I definitely need to work on growing. Which is like another reason why I want to be able to catch up and be done with twice and sooner rather than later because then I have the money <laughs> to do those kind of expansions. And then random collections though, yeah. 
And again, that one's set up for their, the target cards of their next release. Probably need to resort some of these pages here. But I'll worry about that different date. And then the solo section. <laughs> ah! But yes. I don't know why I have that final one. Oh, I wonder if that's what I set up for Misumo. But I only have the one card, so. Yeah. Alright. That is all that is for this binder. Small at the moment, but that's fine. It gives it plenty of room to grow. And I do have one final binder, and this is kind of where I've been putting larger inclusions, which I do need to work on because I just haven't stayed on top of everything. And I'm not sure if I'll ever, like, fully collect anything, but I know I'm missing her sticker. And that just kind of bugs me, just because I have everyone else's. Um, yes, I do have it. Yes, yes, that's right. I have her on the back because I put that up there because I needed another horizontal card. That's how I figured that one out. And I still never got that for Nyon. I think she's the only one. Yeah. But those are the larger inclusions. Um, that I have and that is basically my twice collection and of course my other JYP groups which at the moment is basically just 2 p.m. like I said when next G starts releasing stuff I will be getting stuff for them um, and then I guess just wait and see for the other groups I mean if Vicha ever releases something physically that has photo cards um, I will probably get some, uh, for them as well. Um, but yeah, I think that's the only JYP groups that, that I may be possibly, you know, collecting for, of what I normally collect, but even then, I don't want to collect a lot more. <laughs> I don't want to be adding many more collections um, especially after right after downsizing but yeah I think I've finally got twice into a more manageable level I think just going from formula love forward for the full OT9 and just do like partial OT9 and partial top three for previous eras is gonna work out uh, for me in the long run um, and yeah, because there's there's so much more that I want to be working on, and, and I feel like so much of it gets gets kind of taken away from me working on these larger collections, like Twice, um, that I'm focusing on them and not on these smaller collections that I probably need to. Um, so, yes, this wraps up the first video of the series. Uh, I'm going to do two more. The next one are the rest of my JYP groups that have their own binders. So that's Stray Kids, Niju, and uh, NMix. Uh, so that will be one video. And then the third video is basically everyone else <laughs> because those are all much smaller collections. Um, so thank you so much for watching, uh, especially if you've made it to the end of this video. Uh, I 
hope to see you for uh, the rest of them. So until next time, bye.